again in Puerto Rico. Category 5 Hurricane Maria, raking islands already battered by Irma, now closing in on Puerto Rico. Chris, this is becoming... Hello, I'm David Lopez, and I have worked 13 years in the TV industry. Currently, I live in London and own a multimedia and TV service company. We are currently living a fairly large transition. In the technological age, we can say that formerly in the age of fire, those who have the fire had the power. In the ice age, who had the jacket had a power. Nowadays, the world is in a huge transition. We are going from the analogous era to the digital era. And in this process, those who have a technology have the power. Technological, we are growing massively. Okay, for example, many years ago, the transitional process sacrificed many species. In our case, we could say that traditional TV is a species in extinction. I have had my experience with this process because when I started on television, we used a large tapes and expensive equipment. Nowadays, New technologies allow us to make transmissions with mobile phones. This affects the economy of television because today television channels do not pay like before as everything is changed. One advantage that technology brings is that if you transmit a news item with your mobile phone, you avoid the work of six people and expensive equipment by one using one or two people. The immediacy of formation is a technological breakthrough because we can broadcast live news from almost anywhere. Online media reaches the whole world can measure real aud audiences, analyze behaviors and segment publics. As for traditional television, it's limited and it is difficult to control audiences and measure audiences. In my work, light by light, I see how the television channels reemplace us with the latest smartphone. Is this affecting my income? Currently, I am setting up an OVD's digital portal transmission system, which could save a lot of money to television channels. In this consists in a service that any camera can be used and the equality is the same standard meaning that TV channels could save thousands of pounds on transmissions. As we've heard from David before, journalism is a period of transition, in which the media listens to the call of social media and adapts to the current situation so as not to get stuck in traditional journalism, which is running out. More and more times we hear about the news first through social media with videos published by ordinary people without being journalists, and these videos are later used by the media. Finally, there are several positive points and several negative ones, but the most important thing is to adapt to the present and keep reporting on the news either throughout a newspaper, a radio, television or a social media. The important thing is to keep people informed.